एवरी वन जस्ट टूडे मॉर्निंग आई हैव रिसीव माई ब्रांड न्यू वेस्टर्न डिजिटल टू टेरा बाइट हार्ड डिस्क फ्रॉम टोकोपीडिया विच इज री सैलर इन इंडोनेशिया एंड इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल द हार्ड डिस्क इन एन जी एक्स टी एच फाइव वन जीरो या दैट्स द कैबिनेट ओवर देयर विच आई हैव एन जी एक्स टी एच फाइव वन जीरो सो लेट्स बिगिन एंड सी हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द हार्ड डिस्क It's a two terabyte version, 5400 RPM. A screw here, which will give you access to the panel. There are two of them. Just open, and the panel just comes off like this. In the empty box here is the hard disk bay. This is where the hard disk would go. So we need to unscrew this. which we have to do from the bottom of the cabinet so let's unscrew the hard disk bay so that we can put in the hard disks so to unscrew that that part just need to move it around and just put it down like this gently pretty heavy cabinet it is All right, so there are four screws here. One, two, three, four. I'll open the screws. Three point five inch DD. This is one bay. 3.5 SSD. This is the second one, and then you have the SSD bay over here. So actually, the cabinet can support two hard disks here and one SSD here. Okay, so we have unscrewed the hard disk bay, and there is again a filter here, which I would like to clean. So you can just open the filter also. It has fallen inside, so we will reach. for this filter from the other end this is what the hard disk bay looks like this is the filter you can see it's pretty dirty already okay so here we have the hard disk bay already taken out of the NTXT CPU this is the hard disk the SATA hard disk 2 TB Western Digital Blue you also need the SATA connector this is for connecting the hard disk to the motherboard and you for data transfer just uh, go through your uh, motherboard box you will find one there already included at least i have got one and we also need uh, screws most probably you will find the screws also in the NGXT box and we use the screws to fix the hard disk into this hard disk bay the way this thing goes inside is now this is the rear of the cabinet so you would want to insert the hard disk this way the label should be in the upward direction and just slide in the hard disk just align these screws and do not fasten them completely in the first place otherwise it would be difficult to move the hard disk so now i have got the hard disk inside the hard disk bay it has been properly secured by all the six screws three this side and three this side this one is the data port which you can see over here and this will be used for supplying the power and this port will be left unused so we are not going to connect anything in this port so the data cable goes like this but 
uh, I suggest you to not connect the data cable first into the hard disk otherwise it would be very difficult to put it into the motherboard so let's see uh, where we need to connect this cable into the motherboard the small empty slot which you can see so this is where we have to connect the SATA cable which will be connected with the hard disk underneath there goes the SATA cable SATA cable is in the port number one which you can see over here so the SATA cable is connected on the motherboard side in port number one and now we need to connect it with the hard disk bay this is the SATA cable it's connected with the motherboard from over here and you also need a power for your SATA hard disk so the power connector looks like this you will find these extra cables here coming out of your power supply so now the next uh, thing is that we need to just test that whether the cables are uh, settling in properly before we completely fix the hard disk bay so first goes the data cable so that's the slot for the data cable nice clicking sound you will hear once it is in place and then we have the power cable and there goes the power cable you just need to look for the the correct opening that this it's L shaped actually that's what the opening looks like and it goes into your hard disk okay so both the cables are properly connected now and if you want you can slide in the box the drive bay and uh, tighten the screws and then do the cable management later so that's what actually I'm going to do so we'll put all the screws back into place there were four of them uh, these four here one uh, two three and four screws so that will be holding our drive bay in place have the hard disk bay back into the place just putting in the screws so the hard disk bay is securely in place I also got this filter cleaned which was right over here it's gonna connect the filter back into its place all right so everything seems in place I've got the, the zip tie here just tied all those loose cables although it is not just 100% perfect but still I do not have those cables flying around and now we'll put all the cabinet components back and just do with our hard disk partition and formatting.